Hey guys, so I've been out for just a little while and uh, welded up this, ground it smooth, cleaned up this whole edge here. Hopefully it'll uh, prevent this problem that I've been having when I do these plug welds where, you know, get to a certain stage and just go, you know, and it'll uh, blow out, not blow out the backside, but it just blows everything out, well, in your face and into my TIG tip. Um, but anyways, what I was going to say is I think what I'm going to do right now is I still have, I noticed that there's still some, some, uh, oh, voids up here that I got to deal with, so I got to weld that up. But I think what I'm going to do before I put this piece on the back side is I'm going to sort out this front side here because, uh, the way that it, those two pieces come together kind of influence each other. So I'll try and reproduce it, what I did over here and, uh, and then we'll uh, weld that back piece in. So the objective for today is to get this piece in and that piece in. Now I still haven't decided if I'm going to butt weld this edge or if I'm going to try and lap weld it, you know, like I'll flange it and then I'll lap weld it. It'd be a lot easier to just flange it and lap weld it. And to be honest with you, it's not any less strong. It just is a little more rust prone because you can trap moisture in there. But if I you know, can get in there. I've got some fairly large access holes. I can't seem to seal up from the back side. I don't know. I'll think about it. This part will be butt welded here because there's just no other way to do it. Anyways, that's the plan for the, at least part of today. Okay, so I've uh, welded this in, ground it all down. It's all welded in here. I actually welded it on the inside as well just to make it more solid because my plug welds weren't working very well, I must admit. Uh, I might have to try a different technique. Maybe what I might do is I might sit down and drill some holes in some pieces of metal and uh, and see if I can uh, if how I can plug weld it and may have it have it melt through properly because it really was only melting the top layer. Anyways, so next piece, this piece. Yes, I'm running out of those again. I think I only have a couple. And there's two left. Oh well. Those things that, you know what kills those is the edges of the panels, eh? Anyways, on to the next piece. Okay, so we're back to this now. And uh, what I've done is I've cut this end to length. I've cut too much off the top of it, but now nah, I'll, I'll survive. I'll just uh, fill it in when I uh, put this piece of the panel in here. Uh, I've got it all clamped so it's all tight. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start, it's quite big gaps here, but I'm going to start putting tacks at every one of these spots here while it's in place and I'll do the same along the bottom here and that should lock it into position at least well enough that uh, that I can you know like uh, bring it back into position you know by pounding on it <laughs> anyways and then at that point then I can take it off and I can fully weld it on the you know on my desk there where it's a little more handier to do it rather than here where you know it's gonna be gonna be a pain in the ass. I think I will mark it to trim it to shape. I was I think I was saying that I was debating whether or not I want to flange it or not. And I still haven't decided. I might grab the flanging tool and just see how far up it would reach. I might not have left enough to really do a decent flanging anyways. But regardless, um let's get this all tacked together here. Okay so there's the uh the uh, item tacked together and it's nice and solid. I can't really show it with one hand here, but you know, <laughs> all tacked. So I'm going to take this over and, and fill this in, and uh, then we'll bring it back and we'll weld this in. Uh, I guess I got to trim trim this. I got to decide if I'm before I go on to finish welding this, I'll clamp this back in here and I'll trim it back to this height here hit this thing with it. There we go. <laughs> and uh, and then that'll be, uh, that'll be where I'll weld to. I won't weld any more than I have to. Okay, give me a minute. I'll do that and then I'll, we'll, well probably next shot will be at this thing welded in. Unless there's something interesting that happens in between here and there. I don't know why but I look really red in that uh, viewfinder there. Anyways, it's about uh, 9.30 Saturday night. And uh, I got this welded in. That wasn't what I wanted to call it. 
I haven't ground it, but it's too late for me to do any grinding, but it's not too late for me to do any welding. This thing is cooling off because it had to do a bunch of welding. This part right here is a real dog's breakfast. But uh, such as it is, it'll grind down, it'll look okay. But it's nice and solid here now. So this corner has regained all of its structural integrity. I still have to tie that in. I actually got to dolly that, or I'm not dollying. I'm gonna go like this. Anyways, to knock that a little bit flatter, then we'll just perimeter weld it, and then uh, and then we'll deal with that. So, the plan for tomorrow is to fill in this. Let's see if I can get this whole. I'll zoom back out by moving back a bit. Get this whole side piece done, and then uh, and then I can work on this piece. Or I don't know, maybe I should be working on this piece. You tell me. I don't know. Easier to get. <laughs> nice, eh? I've heard that squeaking before and I couldn't figure out what the hell it was. Anyways, this is all tied in. Ugh, what a mess. Anyways, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I'm tired. I'm gonna go in and I have no idea what I'm gonna eat. Vicky's at work. Oh, I just opened the door for the cat so she could come back in. And here she comes. Hello, Tuffy. Got tired of the straw pile outside. Anyways, I don't know what else to tell you guys, but uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's a straw pile that the kitties have been playing on all day. I don't know what you can see. It's pretty dark out here. But we have to be quiet, because most of the sheep are asleep. <laughs> Later, guys.